coffee is important, especially to those of us on the road and those of us in our daily lives. So whether you're sticks and bricks living in a house uh, attached to the ground or if you're uh, mobile in a uh, mobile homestead, a van, uh, you need coffee on the road. And if you're a coffee snob like myself, um, I like my coffee as pure as I can get it and as strong as I can make it and still walk, walk up right afterwards. A uh, couple different methods. I do cheat a lot and use pre-ground coffee, but I also grind my own uh, sometimes and buy whole bean coffee. And of course, anytime I try to make a video, the wind has to pick up, so hopefully my little wind muff things on the top of that there camera will be fixing this up. So yeah, got my coffee. And we're good to go here to talk about that. All right, probably my main my main go-to item that I've seen it in a couple of videos, or it's been in a couple of videos, is my Nissan Thermos brand stainless steel vacuum insulated French press. This thing is a wonder. Uh, I've seen it on some sailing videos from different uh, cruisers that use this. It is, and. This has been heavily used, so it's stained. I've cleaned it, but that's just coffee in the side and all over the outside. Um, it's a vacuum insulated French pass. Basically, I'm going to put, uh, and this is a, I have, don't have an amount on this. This is like a half ounce scoop. I put six heaping half ounce scoops of coffee into the pot. I add boiling or just, just below boiling temperature water. And I insert, uh, I fill it to about, about here. I insert the press to the bottom and then I actually fill fill the hot water up to the, the rim and the reason I do that is that this does have some dents in this screen this filter screen so it does get a few grounds around it um, but I found if I fill it up with the water kind of sits in there and what I'll do is I will uh, set the lid down and have it off off of the pour I'll rotate it and then uh, when my coffee is done I'll pull this back up and I actually kind of knock it a couple times on the countertop um, but the, the grounds do kind of sink themselves to the bottom and then when I press it I'll rotate my front the weak point on a vacuum insulated or any vacuum insulated container is the lid. This lid has no insulation. So to keep my coffee hot, I just put a um, wrap a dish towel around the top of it just to keep the top insulated and I let it sit anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. That's one method. I do have another type of French press. Uh, I got this one off of Amazon because it was the cheapest one. This will make a, a cup of coffee that you can either drink out of this cup or pour it into an insulated mug. I have a Bubba mug that I use coffee goes in there I found that roughly two to three scoops of uh, good strong ground coffee in the bottom I'll fill it to the line it has a silicone ring and there's a filter push it down you can put the lid on it but you want to open it up so that it does so the pressure comes out the air pressure and I'll push it down or let it sit and then push it down when it brews you screw the top down and you can drink directly from this cup um, and I don't know the make of it, I'll have to look it up, and maybe I'll try to put it in the notes, uh, what, what the make of it is. I got it on Amazon. There's a lot of these out there. This was the cheaper one. It's all plastic. I took some Reflectix and made a insulated sleeve for it just to keep the coffee hot if you want to drink out of that or just while it's brewing. Another awesome thing, and I used to use one of these. It's a different brand, a uh, bigger one that I got, but I use this. This is from my teardrop days, and I still use it. Um, basically, it's an espresso maker. This is a TJ Maxx slash whatever purchase. You fill water, and I usually boil my water at a time and set it in here so it's hot. I don't have to heat on the stove as much. Uh, fill it up to that release valve. This cup gets filled with coffee. You can press it down. I wouldn't pack it in there. What it's going to do is the water boils. It's going to force um, the coffee up through the grounds into the pot, and it'll kind of almost percolate down, I guess you will, off the sides. This makes a super strong cup of coffee. This is this is espresso, what this thing makes. So you can either dilute it, or if you're uh, more manly than I am, you can uh, go right ahead and drink it straight out of your cup without adding uh, sugar or milk or whatever you're going to add into it. I also have an electric grinder. Everybody knows what those are. And then this is a Clara's coffee hand mill. Basically, you're going to put your coffee beans in here, put your top on, attach them as your, your handle, going to crank it, and it does make nice ground coffee in the bottom. There's still some in there from before. You can set the, um, the size of your grinds, the grounds, uh, by that wheel. Um, 
I've used this a number of times and it's maybe a believer in either pre-ground or electric grinders but this is a good it's a good grinder if you don't have any power and you need your cup of coffee um, this does work um, there's just a lot of effort in it and as the wind blows our mat here on the hooded adventure adventure wagon e norma and there's a brush that comes with it so you can get the grounds out of the grinder i carry this just in case those are my coffee options so that's my quick review of some options for making coffee again nissan thermos insulated vacuum french press a this is a palms restaurant brand i don't know i got it at tj maxx this is basically an espresso maker and then a single single uh cup press there and of course you want to always accompany a labeled vacuum insulated thermos to put your coffee in i i like my coffee with sugar so i'll put sugar in this add a little hot water and get that dissolved before i add the coffee in while it's while it's brewing in the morning but thermal insulated uh, cup you can either use a coffee cup coffee cup or i have a bubba uh, vacuum insulated cup that i use uh, that doesn't drip on the road cheers good coffee it's important to have that on the road and there's just some options from caribou day oh.